Hello, I'm back again for part two. Um, I want to just kind of explain what was going on for me with the poem uh, from part one, Psalm of Growth. So I was experiencing, and I have been experiencing a lot of growth in my private and personal life. And, and what happened was I planted these little, like pretty much saplings of these different herbs in this uh, upside down planter thing. And I put dirt in there and I pulled them out of their potted, out of the pots they came in from the store and transplanted them in there. And I gotta say, like for a week, they all kind of looked puny, right? They're, they're kind of green, they're, they're kind of dro drooping down, like this side of my face right now. Um, and they just look like they're not gonna make it. So, but then me and my wife went on a vacation for like a week and we had the neighbors water them for us and came back and they were all like growing like 10 times the size when I left and so I was inspired by that if you give them the right things that they grow that they stay hungry and they continue to grow and they will outgrow what you put them in and you put them in something bigger and they'll outgrow that too as long as they got what they need and so in my life I felt that same kind of exponential growth and I'm gonna just kind of read some lines in here hungry to grow Desperate for water, earth, and sky. My roots crawl, clawing deeper. I like that, like clawing. Like those roots, like the root systems for trees. They're always going and looking for water underneath the ground, invisible to us. Um, their leaves screaming for rain. Like they're, they're, they need water. They're anxious for it. They're, you know, they, they reach to the sky. And as you watch them grow, they go towards the sun because they need sunlight. And I like this, like kind of stubborn defiance of the second stanza. I will grow. I will find a way. And I watch these plants as they've grown. And they have fully, their roots have fully immersed this dirt here. Um, I grow around obstacles. I grow every day. And, you know, you think of trees that are uprooted, maybe by winds or thunderstorms. And you see the rocks that they have kind of overcome underground. They just grow around them and then grab onto them. And you see a tree grow around a fence post, you know. And, and so you, you get to see that they grow no matter what. They don't care about metal. They don't care about rocks. They're going to grow and they're going to grow around it. And it's going to become a part of their growth. So I guess I will need a part three. So this is part two of and it's talking about this poem part three is going to go into a little bit more detail on some of these other stanzas thanks for watching hope you enjoy it let me know in comments follow me for everything okay thanks bye